Perfect. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, um, today, I would like to present uh, work uh, on stance aware re ranking for non factual comparative queries, which I did uh, with my colleagues at Friedrich Schiller Universität Jena. Um, and first of all, if you think about comparing stuff, uh, you probably think of something like this, where you have uh, some options and uh, you want to know, uh, for example, uh, which tower is taller, the Eiffel Tower or the Big Ben. But from an argumentative perspective, uh, these comparisons are not really interesting because uh, such factual comparisons can be answered purely based on facts and uh, don't require any argumentation. So we are more interested in uh, more subjective non-factual comparisons like this, which city is better, Paris or London? And there uh, the choice really depends on personal opinions and therefore requires argumentative answers. And uh, argument search engines can support such uh, decisions um, for example, there's uh, already search, uh, argumentative search engines like ArxMe or Argument Text, uh, which retrieve relevant documents that also uh, have high quality arguments in it. Now, these uh, existing search engines often focus on controversial topics, like should we ban nuclear energy uh, and so far, no search engine has really focused on comparative topics where we compare two options. But luckily, there's a shared task at CLE called Touche, uh, where each query compares exactly two options, for example, Paris versus London. And uh, also here, uh, the goal is to retrieve arguments for or against either option. Not only uh, argument quality matters, but also uh, the stance. And uh, in this shared task, uh, participants have so far used BM25, neural re-ranking, and also incorporated argument quality, but they did not exploit the stance up to now. So we want to change this, and uh, then we have to think about what stance means for comparative questions. So for comparative questions, we could have pro London in, in this question, which city is better uh, or pro Paris. Um, and we could also have the option that uh, both are equally good um, or we can have no stance at all. So more like facts. Um, for example, we, we could say, yeah, I like the Western musicals in London, therefore I'm in favor of London. Uh, I might find Paris very romantic, so I favor Paris. Uh, both could be fine because both have uh, great art museums. And uh, then we have facts like uh, London has 9 million inhabitants and Paris has um, uh, some uh, 1 million more. But uh, that doesn't give a stance and uh, it depends on the on the reader. Uh, on to decide uh, whether this could mean something pro Paris or pro London. So our approach is based on the intuition that helpful results for comparative questions should is express an explicit stance towards the options. And then we just move the results that don't express a stance to the end of the ranking. So th these just factual statements are moved uh, down the result list. Um, and then uh, for evaluation, we uh, we rank all the submitted ones from Touche um, and then measure the retrieval effectiveness with respect to NCG at five. Uh, for evaluation, we consider four scenarios. Um, first, we just use the ground truth stance labels, which gives us something like a perfect stance detection. And uh, of course, this is artific artificial, but it can give us uh, an upper bound of our approach for re-ranking. Um, here we see that uh, the 
NECG is significantly approved for all ones, and uh, we can even reach up to uh, op up to the optimal effectiveness for a top five free ranking. Uh, when we use the predicted stance from two shape participants, however, we rarely see any improvements. Some ones even uh, worsen. And uh, the key here is that the stance detection is not effective enough. So the best sense detection from two shape participants was uh, reaching a macro average F1 score of 0 0.31. Um, so we improved the stance detection with three new stance detection approaches, uh, one Roberta model, uh, one zero shot model using Planty5, and a few shot model using GPT 3.5. Uh, which then yields a F1 score of 0 0.49. And with this GPT model, our uh, re-ranking improves the NCG uh, of all runs, uh, though not all significantly. And uh, most importantly, the, all the top three runs from the uh, leaderboard would uh, reach the top ranking posi uh, top system position in the leaderboard. Then uh, to measure the effect of uh, stance detection on the ranking effectiveness, uh, we also simulated stance detection uh, by perturbing the ground truth labels uh, up to uh, specified thresholds um, from F1 equals uh, 0 0.95 to 0 0.20. And as you can see on this little plot here, uh, higher uh, higher F1 of F1 scores also yield uh, better NCG improvements uh, in re-ranking. And uh, in another evaluation, we also found that initially more effective ones are harder to improve, so they require a higher F1 score to yield significant uh, NCG improvements. To summarize, uh, we proposed a very simple but yet effective uh, re-ranking approach for non-factual comparative queries, uh, where we could significantly improve all touche ones uh, when using the ground truth stance labels. And with our best uh, stance detection model, GPT 3.5, uh, we can still change the system order, the top three system order in the leaderboard. So in the future, we would like to spend time on improving the stance detection. As you can see, it's still uh, quite low. 0 0.49 was the best model. Um, and we want to experiment with separating the result lists per stance. So showing one column for Pro Paris, one column for London, and one neutral column. Yeah, our code is available on GitHub. So if you want to replicate our results, uh, you are welcome to do so. Thank you.